Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Cement, often hailed as the foundation of modern infrastructure, carries with it a significant environmental cost. It is responsible for about 8% of global carbon dioxide (CO2) emissions, giving it a larger carbon footprint than most individual nations. In the face of growing urgency to combat climate change, industries worldwide, including cement, are pressed to reduce their carbon footprints. Decarbonizing the cement industry, however, is a daunting challenge due to various technological, economic, and practical factors. Despite these hurdles, one solution is starting to garner attention: green hydrogen. Understanding the carbon-intensive nature of cement. To appreciate the role of green hydrogen in mitigating the cement industry's environmental impact, it is necessary first to understand why cement production is so carbon-intensive. 1. Carbon dioxide emissions in the manufacturing process. Calcination, a chemical process integral to cement manufacturing, is responsible for approximately half of the CO2 emissions in cement production. Calcination involves heating limestone, calcium carbonate, in a kiln, leading it to decompose into lime, calcium oxide, and CO2. Given that this process is a fundamental aspect of cement making, modifying it to reduce emissions is not a straightforward task. 2. Energy-intensive process. The cement production process requires extremely high temperatures, around 1450 degrees Celsius. Traditionally, these temperatures are achieved by burning fossil fuels, which constitute the other half of the CO2 emissions from the cement industry. Although alternative fuels could potentially be used, they need to provide the necessary heat consistently and on a large scale, a significant logistical challenge. 3. Scale of the industry. Cement is the second most consumed substance on earth after water, with an annual production of around 4 billion tons. Consequently, the sheer size of the industry increases the difficulty of implementing systemic changes. 4. Economic factors, low carbon technologies and fuels often carry a higher price tag than their traditional counterparts. In an industry where profit margins are typically narrow, the additional cost can serve as a significant deterrent to adopting these greener alternatives. Current decarbonization efforts in the cement industry. Despite these daunting challenges, the cement industry has been proactive in attempting to reduce its carbon footprint through various strategies. 1. Alternative fuels. Some companies have started to replace traditional fossil fuels with lower carbon alternatives or waste materials. Biomass, for instance, can serve as a sustainable fuel source if it is sourced responsibly. 2. Energy efficiency. The cement industry has been investing in technologies and practices that reduce the energy required to produce cement. An example of this is waste heat recovery systems that capture and repurpose heat that would otherwise be wasted. 3. Carbon capture, utilization, and storage, CCUS, KISS technology can capture CO2 emissions from the cement manufacturing process and either store them underground or use them to create other products. Although it shows promise, this technology is still in the early stages of commercial deployment in the cement industry. 4. Novel cements. Some companies and research institutions are experimenting with new types of cement that either require less energy to produce or absorb CO2 as they cure, further reducing their carbon footprint. 5. Reducing clinker content. Clinker, the component of cement that requires the most energy to produce and emits the most CO2, is being replaced in some instances with alternative materials, such as fly ash or slag. 6. Sustainable construction practices. The industry is exploring ways to use less cement in construction through improved practices or by substituting cement with other materials where possible. These strategies are making a difference, but alone they cannot fully decarbonize the cement industry. The need for additional policies and incentives is clear. Decarbonization solutions for the cement industry will require a combination of technology, regulation, and market-driven approaches. The potential of green hydrogen in the cement industry. Amidst the pressing need to reduce emissions and the limitations of current strategies, green hydrogen emerges as a promising solution. Green hydrogen is produced by electrolyzing water, powered by renewable energy sources like wind or solar. As such, it's a clean fuel, with the only byproduct of its use being water. 
This makes it an exciting potential player in future decarbonization strategies across various sectors, including cement. However, it comes with its own set of challenges. 1. Production and supply, large-scale production of green hydrogen remains limited. Scaling up production and establishing an efficient supply infrastructure are significant hurdles to overcome. Currently, green hydrogen is significantly more expensive than traditional fossil fuels. For green hydrogen to be a viable replacement, its production cost needs to fall drastically or needs to be offset by strong financial incentives promoting its use. Green hydrogen's roundabout production process, first creating the hydrogen and then using it as a fuel, is less energy efficient than using electricity directly. Directly using renewable electricity in cement production might be more energy efficient, but it comes with its own set of challenges. 2. Technological adjustment. Using hydrogen as a fuel in cement production would require modifications to existing kiln technologies. This could necessitate significant capital expenditure, a deterrent for many cement producers. Despite these challenges, green hydrogen holds considerable potential for decarbonizing the cement industry. 3. Lower carbon emissions. Green hydrogen could serve as an alternative fuel for the high temperature kilns used in cement production. By replacing fossil fuels, it could significantly reduce the industry's carbon emissions. 4. Policy support. The green hydrogen sector is receiving growing attention from policymakers worldwide. The European Union, for instance, has set ambitious targets for green hydrogen as part of its broader strategy to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. 5. Technological advances. As the technology continues to evolve, it's plausible that the cost of producing green hydrogen may decrease, making it more economically viable. Also, the necessary modifications to existing kiln technologies could become less onerous as we gain a better understanding of using hydrogen in such applications. 5. Pilot projects. There are several pilot projects exploring the use of hydrogen in cement production currently underway. The insights gleaned from these early initiatives will be crucial in driving broader adoption of green hydrogen in the industry. Conclusion The journey towards incorporating green hydrogen into cement production is undoubtedly a challenging one. It requires a confluence of concerted efforts in technological innovation, policy support, and industry commitment. Nonetheless, the potential benefits of green hydrogen cannot be overstated. As a promising clean fuel, it offers a tangible pathway to significantly reduce the carbon footprint of the cement industry, an industry that, despite its environmental impact, remains indispensable to our modern world. Industry-wide collaboration, robust government policies, and sustained research and development will be key to overcoming the challenges associated with green hydrogen. Initiatives like the pilot projects currently underway serve as a critical testing ground for understanding the practicalities and overcoming the barriers of using hydrogen in cement production. Furthermore, public awareness and demand for sustainable products can also serve as a significant driver for the cement industry to shift towards greener practices. Consumers, investors, and regulators are increasingly pushing for transparency and accountability in carbon emissions, which can create market pressure for the adoption of low-carbon technologies. Finally, the role of international cooperation cannot be understated. Climate change is a global problem, and reducing industrial CO2 emissions must be a global effort. By sharing knowledge, resources, and technology, countries and industries can accelerate the pace of change towards a more sustainable and low-carbon future. The potential of green hydrogen in the cement industry is an exciting prospect, one that encapsulates both the challenges and opportunities inherent in our global transition towards a low-carbon economy. As we strive to balance our need for infrastructure development with the imperative of environmental sustainability, the development of green hydrogen in the cement industry is a space to watch. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.